This is meteorologist Mark Molnar with Weather Northeastern. Let's get right into the tropics. Tropical update, Ernesto, Tropical Storm Ernesto, just west of the Azor Islands out here, will not affect the Azores. It will continue to accelerate towards the northeast very rapidly and head off towards Europe. It will mainly only be a problem to shipping lanes. So this is the E-name storm of the 2018 Atlantic hurricane season. We are also watching another system here, Invest 99 out here, well out into the open Atlantic, and it will continue to move towards the west-northwest, battling a very hostile environment. The sea surface temperatures are warming up out here. However, there's a lot of wind shear and dry air that is entraining into the region just east of the Lesser Antilles here. So as the system continues to rapidly move towards the west-northwest, it will encounter a very hostile environment. Now that being said, if this system can hold together and basically move to the west towards portions of Jamaica, just south of Haiti, the Cayman Islands, and eventually towards the Yucatan or Cuba, we could have a better environment for the system to strengthen. At this time though, we'll have to see if this system can overcome a lot of the wind shear and dry air that is entraining across the region. So there you have it, there is the tropics. We're watching a few other tropical waves as well across the Atlantic. and. The open Atlantic, we're getting towards the peak hurricane season, which will be that right around that second week, first to second week of September. So there you have it. We'll continue to watch the tropics, see if Invest 99 has any chance. We'll continue to watch Ernesto, but that's going to be a quick fading memory. Let's get right into viewers sending in photos and videos. Lucas D from Linden, Texas, showing off a new camera lens that he had. Take a look at this wide shot angle of the sky and the trees across the Linden area. Very beautiful captures here. Lucas from Linden, Texas. And we're gonna take a quickly look at John from Islip, New York. He did have some strong thunderstorms. He indicated strong thunderstorms and tornadoes in the area. And he had very dark skies, heavy rain, wind, and everything in between here. So nice captures. John from Islip, New York, getting right into precipitation amounts across the country. Your eyes are drawn to the Mississippi River Valley all the way up through the Ohio River Valley, up to the Appalachians, and even the Susquehanna River Valley, where Friday and Friday night, we have the possibility here of some flash flooding and continued river flooding here in the basins, the river basins. Let's get right into that pattern. Got a little bit of a ridge out here into the central areas, but it's back east. We'll continue with that unsettled weather pattern across the lakes in the northeast, continuing to get these stalled out systems across the area. Next week, we do have some more tropical moisture feeding in. This is not good news for areas that have already seen much flooding. Let's get right into the severe weather outlook. This will be the big story on Friday. We're not only gonna have the flash flooding and flooding problem across the Northeast and Susquehanna River Basin. But areas especially along Interstate 81 on eastward here, especially the Poconos, the Catskills, the Hudson River Valley, portions of the central and southern Susquehanna River Valley, even the northern Susquehanna River Valley, especially from midday onward, stands the chance of seeing strong thunderstorms with damaging wind, large hail, and flash flooding likely. And this could eventually lead to areas of flooding on the major rivers here. So, especially the Susquehanna Basin here where we've had lots of flooding as of late in smaller and even the larger tributaries. So, we're looking at a slight to an elevated risk here across the Susquehanna River Valley, Poconos, Catskill, Skills, Sus uh, Hudson River Valley into southwestern parts of New England and extreme western New England. So it'll be mainly between the hours of 1 p.m. and 9 p.m. across these areas and progress eastward throughout the day. So there you have it. And as I said, the strongest areas, we have the Binghamton area, this is the flooding threat. And we will have damaging wind threat here across Binghamton, Scranton, Harrisburg, portions of Syracuse, Utica area. We have the elevated risks here on the scale. So your main threats are flash flooding and damaging wind. And across the portions of the Catskills, Monticello, New York, over to Albany, the Berkshires, over down to downstate New York, 
We have an elevated risk of severe weather. Hail will be a big distinct possibility, as well as damaging winds, as well as flash flooding. So there you have the severe weather outlooks across our region. And getting right into the forecast for your Friday, there is that dreaded red shading, especially from central New York, Pennsylvania on eastward, particularly the I-81 corridor on eastward across our forecast area. We're looking very stormy across the northeast. Damaging wind, large hail and flash flooding are distinct possibility. Temperatures getting well up into the 80s to feed all of that heat and humidity values. It will feel a lot hotter. And as I said, we're going to watch for some flash flooding here in the Binghamton, Scranton and Harrisburg area up to Albany and maybe as far south as the downstate New York area. So you're going to want to watch those smaller tributaries as well as if we get training going on, all these training heavy rainers that line up, we could have some major flooding on some of the larger rivers as well. So you'll want to watch for that into Saturday. Take a look at this across the Northeast. We're looking a little better. We're trying to clear it out from the Finger Lakes down to the central southern tier of New York on westward. But we're still holding on to a chance of a morning shower in Binghamton, Scranton, and we get into more of a generalized showers and thunderstorms likely downstate into southeastern Pennsylvania as well. So we'll continue with that. We will cool things off a little bit, cooling down into the 70s into your Sunday. Look at this across the northeast. We're finally clearing things out here. Crystal clear blue skies in most areas. You can't beat this mostly mid to upper 70s humidity values tumbling to the 40 percent range and into your monday another beautiful day so if you have a long weekend get out there and enjoy that because we have wall to wall sunshine here temperatures 70s upper 70s low 80s a very popular number five day outlook for my hometown viewers binghamton to scranton's upper susquehanna region of upstate new york and northeast pennsylvania and all points in between binghamton to scranton on the susquehanna river we go to Conic Mejhopin. Take a look at this. Friday into Friday night, showers and thunderstorms likely, flash flooding a possibility, damaging wind also a possibility, of some of those stronger thunderstorms. Highs getting up into the 80s in many areas. High humidity, dew points in the lower 70s, making it feel a lot warmer. Don't be surprised if we get a solid one to two inches with locally higher likely into Friday night. Saturday, we push that front to the southeast. We maybe a chance of a morning shower heading up towards the 70s into your Sunday and Monday. Sunday and Monday, both beautiful days. Crystal clear sunshine into the 70s, especially the mid to upper 70s into your Tuesday. Once again, this is where we get into tropical moisture. We might get ourselves into some more trouble here, possibly another one to two inches of rain. That'll do for this edition of Weather Northeastern. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at MediaMark, subscribe to me on YouTube at MediaMark.com. That'll do it for this edition. Thank you for watching.